Welcome to my next video, and in this video, if you recall back, I showed a little video of me sort of just playing around with the Humongous Entertainment games and how they run on iOS, but I think now they deserve a little more of an in-depth look and sort of look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate sort of how the games run. I'm not going to review the games themselves, they are awesome regardless, but I will review how they work on iOS and Android, some improvements, some disimprovements, we'll get on that. But if now, enjoy the video. So first off, let's start out with the goods. Now playing games like Pajama Sam on the iPad is an amazing experience. It's probably the best experience you'll have ever playing these games. More so maybe even than an additional mouse and keyboard. Because with an iPad and even with an iPod Touch or something, the games will feel more close to you. You feel like the games are more there. Everything's just a touch away. And the games feel much more pick up and play, which is something these games benefit from. The emulation is spot on. It's just like playing them on a computer game. They run at their exact frame rate, no fast mode or anything. It all sounds great. Maybe more so than playing on Scum VM. In fact, there's more sound channels than Scum VM has, so it really does f resemble the PC counterparts. That's really it for goods. But there are quite a bit nitpicks I can come up with. One thing is that if you look at the top, there's a big ugly skip button which lets you skip, which is fine, but if you want to hide that, you have to turn off skip entirely which can be agonizing at times, not being able to skip long cutscenes. A minor glitch I found with some of them is that sometimes the games will play in the incorrect orientation, which is fine, but if you're one of those people like me who uses their iPads to flip up and look at applications, it can be kind of frustrating because it won't be able to do that. An easy fix is to flip your device, but really that's something they should be able to fix right now. Unfortunately for the games, they do show their age. They are very old computer games from the late 90s, 90s, late 90s, early 2000s. And it shows at times, characters can look sort of edgy at times. The frame rate is relatively low, sound quality is not fantastic. And you'll get over most of this usually when you're playing the game. But it's a worthwhile thing noting because you want to play these games on something like an iPad with its new retina display, you know, and have these rough edges, you know, can be noticeable to some people. A little minor issue I have is that the games are a bit overpriced. You know, I'd be willing to pay quite a bit for these games, you know, on a disc. But for a mobile app, it seems like kind of a lot. Freddy Fish and Putt Putt Save the Zoo will cost you $2.99. Jamma Sam, Spy Fox, and Putt Putt Travel Zoo Time will cost you about $5. That's a little bit much for a mobile app. Not a lot of mobile apps deserve to be that large or expensive. Now, I think these games do, but for some people, it may be a bit of concern. Overall, these apps are a definite recommendation. I will very strongly recommend these games to young children, maybe even young teens, you know, try them out, because, you know, you may not like them, but I'd say it's worth a try with the light versions, especially if you grew up with these games, it's a definite buy, for me, at least, maybe you too. I still think these games are a bit expensive at 5 bucks, but considering these games' original retail prices was anywhere from 30 bucks to 40 to 50 bucks, sounds like a bargain, really. Anyway, this has been my pretty short and random review. Get these games definitely, and stay tuned, subscribe, and all that shit people say at the end of their videos. Stay tuned for next videos. Bye-bye.